What is going on guys and welcome back to Ultimate Team Adventure. Here we're going to do a little bit of a team update, then hop into some games and see what else we can get up to during this episode. And uh, hopefully we can get some victories because after this team update I'll explain where I'm at in the divisions and what happened there. It's just, it's basically been a, it's been a whole disaster. But I'm excited to get back into it here and hopefully we can get some victories. So here's the team. I've assembled quite an, in quite an interesting squad uh, as you did see there. Eric Carlson as a forward. I didn't like him as a defenseman. I've been struggling to use him as a defenseman all year. I feel like he's kind of weak defensively, and I feel like he's a much better offensive player. 90, 89, and 93 for offensive stats. So that's really, really sick. We're going to try him out as a forward. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, but let's get into a team update. We got Jamie Ben Movember. Cannot wait for this guy's team of the week to be upgraded or whatever next special card he gets because this Movember card will go to whatever that is. He's worth about 200k, which is a pretty expensive player. We also got John Tavares and Phil Kessel. Not much has changed aside from upgrading the Jamie Ben. Obviously, Eric Carlson right there. I'm going to try him on the left wing in between Claude Giroux and my favorite player in the game, Big Todd Bertuzzi. And on the third line here, I'm going to try Marion Gabrick. I've tried him out in the past. He's been good, uh, but I just, I don't know. He's a little bit different from last year. He's a lot lower overall. He was a 90 last year. Now he's at 86. So I decided to juice him up a little bit and we got Patrice Bergeron who's just an amazing player I wouldn't put him in your top six but he's a really good third liner he always wins draws great penalty killer just an overall great player same with Mike Camilleri I wouldn't put him in your top six but your bottom six he is a beast and I love Mike Camilleri had him from the start and I'm probably never gonna get rid of him he's probably gonna always be on my squad right here we got Ryan Johansson big jumbo Joe Thornton pulled him in a collection pack and we also got Hunter and Carrick here, hot live, 75 overall. For a, for a 75 though, he plays really, really, really well. Now to the defense, we got Victor Hedman and Dustin Bufflin as our big top two defensemen, the big twin towers there. I put some skating on Bufflin and he is a monster. He is so good and I've loved Victor Hedman from the very start. We got uh, Dion Phaneuf here, hot live, who I really, really like. I didn't like his regular card um, and I wouldn't really use Phaneuf, but I am just in love with this card. He's got a wicked slap shot always seems to be in the right place defensively. He's really good. I recommend you guys try him out. Uh, and then in the cage here, we're going to try a new goaltender. This guy is six foot six. We have Dalton McCauley. And the reason why I didn't boost him up to 99, we're going to have a little bit of a test here because I boosted up tons of goalies to 99 and some of them play good and some of them play like crap. So I want to see if the 99 really does take in effect here. Uh, we got this Dalton McCauley guy who I'm really excited to try out. 6'6", 202. Plays for the Regina Pats of the WHL. So his Kind of a cool card there. Pretty big guy, six foot six. Speaking of big guys, Zadorov, 6'5, 229. Juice him to a 99, should be a monster. Tyson Berry Hut Live and Brent Seabrook as your third pairing defenseman. So it's been a struggle. I've been relegated to Division 3. As you can see, my record is not very good at all. We're going to get into some Division 3 hockey, hopefully, get back to Div 1, and let's hop into a game. Look at how big Nikita Zadorov is. The guy is a monster. No Number 65, dude is a tank. Speaking of tanks, Big Top Bertuzzi in on a breakaway. Unfortunately, could not tuck it home past Jonas Hiller. TJ Oshie takes an interference penalty. He's not too happy about that. And Jamie Ben, the most consistent player I have ever used. Absolutely destroys that puck. Top cheese, baby. What a goal. And we're going to come right back with another one. We're going to get a terrible rebound. And we're going to clean up the garbage there with Patrice Bergeron. Jonas Hiller with an unreal stop, but Dustin Bufflin makes sure no one's getting into his offensive zone. Sit your ass down, buddy. 2-0 after one period here. We're going to make it 3-0 on another garbage goal from Claude Giroux. And is going to pick up the loose puck and chuck it in the net, making it 3-0. Oliver ekman Larson takes a high-sticking penalty. And sometimes when I'm on my game, my cycle game cannot be stopped. And the power play was just killing it this game. Over to Big Buff. Lands a big hit early and scores a big goal there. Top shelf where your mama keeps the peanut butter. What a shot. That was a really, really nice goal. Speaking of nice goals, Johnny T outweights Jonas Hiller and puts it top shelf. Although Kessel is very pleased that he did. Here's Kessel trying to take it to the net. He does! Scores! Holy mo 
Nakano, what a turn of events! That is why they call him Phil the Thrill. Unreal goal there from number 81, Phil Kessel. And Todd Bertuzzi, this is exactly why he's my favorite player in the whole game. Too big, too strong, cannot be stopped. Again, another top cheese goal. Jamie Benn wants to get in on the fun here, making it 8 to nothing. And then, just for good measure, we decide to make it 9 to nothing on a goal by the fourth liner, Hunter Shinkarik. That is a statement game. I wish I could stay in Division 3 forever, because I just somehow how I just seem to kill it and this is proof of it and after that big win I decided to go ahead and complete the last national collection I needed which was Team America Team USA Merca and you get one bronze pack for it and I got a Zykov and an Olsen it was pretty cool I didn't have that Olsen guy so uh, was it worth the 5k probably not but that's okay so open up one more pack after this and look who I pull a 90 overall Zach Parise I was like what the hell that was just a random pack that I decided to open on a whim and it was awesome pulled a Zach Parise sold him for 49k so we're making some bank here and I'm actually really really happy with this Macaulay guy we won nine nothing in his first game and then won eight to two in the next game unfortunately I was not recording but we're gonna try to keep it up here in this next game against a guy and with the Kelowna Rockets jerseys and we both had chances early on but our goalies stood really really tall Macaulay made some unreal stops pulling plank and with one minute left in the first period Phil Kessel is coming in no one's stopping that I don't care if you have Patrick Juan net no one is stopping that slap shot again top shelf and we're coming right back two goals in under one minute Kessel again oh my god his third goal in two games Phil Kessel is on a tear right now making it two to nothing after the first period I'm feeling really confident with this team across through lines blast and the captain had had enough. That honestly was not even fair. What a shot from Big Claude Giroux. He's going to come back, make it 3-1 to one going into the third period. And I don't know what happened, but he just turned it on. McCauley was uh, the first star through the first two periods. But the third period, he really shit the bed. And we just stopped playing as a team. And now it's 3-2. Make that 3-3 three to three on a weird goal. Look what McCauley did, actually. It was, uh, it was a nice play by him, but he, like, jumped. And I really don't understand. And what his whole motive was there. You can see he was just like a flop on the ice looking like Roberto Luongo. I don't know what happened there, but it's very, very strange, and he's going to make it 4-3, to three, so we've got our backs against the wall here. Boyle closes in on Thorburn to the line for Klitsum. Cross ice, Bufflin scores! Dustin Bufflin! Video review took one away this one home. And you think we're going to overtime? I thought that too until Jamie Benn scores the goal with 1.1 seconds left. Can you believe that? Who else but Jamie Benn? Shout out to Claude Giroux or, or Patrice Bergeron. I actually don't know who don't know who that was, but they batted it out of midair and the goalie fumbled it and Jamie Benn picked up the loose change and just puts that one home in a game that we did not deserve to win. McCauley should have been up there in the stars. He made a lot of stops. They had a lot of pressure. McCauley definitely kept this in there through the first and the second, but a huge victory there, 5-4. to Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm currently now in Division 2. We got out of Division 3 with ease. I went 7-0-1 and uh, since I've got to Division 2, I don't know what it is. I just cannot seem to... I just cannot seem to do anything. Uh, this was all in Division number 3, though. We got a big win there. 1-2-3. Uh, disconnect win we actually lost one in overtime win 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 and then the rest have been losses all from division one and division two and recently it's all been losses uh two of them three of them have been from pack attack but the other one was from the actual ultimate team but uh, it's just very hard to play in division one and division two i feel like i'm playing a lot better hockey ultimate team i just cannot seem to get past the barrier of division one or division two so hopefully the next episode will try to find out the secret to playing in division 
Division 1 because it is it is not easy. But quickly, I'll get into players in depth for the next episode, but a quick little look, especially with, with one player uh, who I really want you guys to uh, have a look at. H. Smith. I don't know his first name, but 6'7", 216. I boosted him up to a 92, and uh, he's going to be a monster. This is the rest of the squad. Jonathan Druin picked him up. Backstrom Neal, and that is basically it for the rest of the team. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and smack it with the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.